Line looks good. Starter in position, light on set. Gate spring back and away they go, and it was a pretty clean dispatch too, with Rib Tickler one of the first to show out. King Waldo showing good speed, and so is Three Jacks. Aussie Jaws of the inside's holding a position, so it's keen early, but King Waldo looks to persevere here for the lead with Stakos, and he's crossing over to take it up just in front of Aussie Jawsy. Rib Tickler just easing back to third, and then Three Jacks settling fourth. Two lengths back, Monsalot. Well back, Nassau County really chasing to stay in touch, and Hazelwood's right out the back. So had to use a bit of pace inside the 700 metre mark. Mark King Wildo gets a steady and now shows the way three quarters to Rib Tickler, who's quickly on the scene off the back. And these two just move away a length in front of three Jacks, who's presenting. Aussie Jaws is fourth the inside. A gap then to Nassau County, who's been chasing the get go. Well back, Monster Lot, and out the back, Hazelwood. But it's King Wildo working to the 400 metre mark, the leader. Out by two. Can he see it out? Three Jacks is looming large. Just dropping off Rib Tickler at that point. Behind those Aussie Jaws before the turn, a gap, Nassau County, and Monster Lot in the last one, Hazelwood. Running down to the 250. King Wildo the the leader. Sakos hands and hills at the moment just trying to get it home. Out deep on the track. Nassau County runs on. Three Jacks is still there and Hazelwood's going to present late. The leader's gone and on the outside Nassau County went to the lead with good momentum Nassau County. Coming through Hazelwood the stable mate late's going to get close. It's a Clark 1-2 but it's Nassau County we ended ahead on the line. Second Hazelwood. They came from well back in the run. They've run over the leaders namely Three Jacks, Aussie, Jawsy, King Waldo really punched late from Rib Tickler and Monsalot the last one home. That race changed complexion in the last 150 metres, but you'll find Nassau County, number six, Jared Todd for Gary Clark getting the money here from Hazelwood, who was dead set in a different postcode mid-race. And they were both really chasing to just get out after these leaders, but they've really overwhelmed them late in 117.2. 37.39, that last 600 coming through, last 212.26, and these interim numbers are starting to present. Number six, Nassau County first. Second goes to two, Hazelwood. Aaron Sweeney riding for Gary Clark, so it's a good start to the day for the Clark stable. And we stand by for third. Uh, by the time we got back there, three jacks was battling away. We'll get that. Sonia Logan riding for Chris Pollard. 6.28. Long neck, one and three quarters of the margin. 6.28. And we stand by for that fourth to give us top four play. That's number three. King Wildo's actually hang on for fourth there. He was really stopping late. And fifth goes to nine, Aussie Jawsy. Interim's six, two, eight, three, nine. The winner is a six-year-old Bay Gilding, American Pharaoh for Ben, owned by Charlene Clark, trained by Gary Clark and Jared Todd. Second goes to two, Hazelwood, a five-year-old Bay Gilding, American Pharaoh. Uh, for the Clark combination there, and Aaron Sweeney. And third goes to eight, three jacks, a four-year-old bay gilding by Square Moser, trained by Chris Pollard. Sonia Logan ran a nice race. Fourth to three, King Wild. Always let him up, but just got tight. Had to do a bit of work early. Uh, kept them running, and fifth went to nine, Aussie Jawsy. Six, two, eight, three, nine. Winner returns. Toddy's up and about here after race number one as we stand by for correct weight.